Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration and review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. That's a mouthful. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. And I actually got the kit in the color medium. I feel like that would be the best one to suit my skin tone because Lord knows I wasn't going to pick up the light one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I really do enjoy using this product. Um, one thing I definitely have to say is I noticed some other YouTubers um, mixing this with an oil. For example, I saw um, Manny MUA mix uh, maracuja oil to this formula or to this concealer to get it to the consistency that he likes and honestly I don't feel the need to mix an oil honestly the best thing that works for me with this thick 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 consistency is actually just the warmth of your skin so if you can see I dig my fingers all in there and don't worry it's for personal use okay and my hands are always clean I promise but yeah just my advice is that it definitely works better when you warm it up with your skin um, if you have really really dry skin I definitely would recommend putting like a um, uh, what's the word moisturizer moisturizer I definitely recommend putting a moisturizer before using this because it could possibly cling on to your dry patches I don't really have dry patches I'm my skin's normal honestly like I have normal skin I mean yeah I get oily like on my nose and you know after like seven hours six hours but I'm not oily and I'm not dry I'm kind of normal but I have acne prone skin and stuff so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you later mm. so before I apply my foundation I'm gonna use the warm coral color from the palette to just color correct my acne scars and that way they won't show through from underneath my foundation and I kind of get a little heavy-handed with this product so yeah but I really just hate 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 when my acne scars show through my foundation so that's why I'm doing that mm -hmm. Ta <laughs> here I'm just applying some lip balm I kind of forgot to do this and it's really important to do this like in the beginning of your makeup routine so that way it just penetrates your lips and prevents your lips from looking crusty this is my first time using this foundation. It's the Jordana 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Um, so I'm kind of just testing this out to see how it works. Um, I definitely will have a review you know, up later if you guys want to know my thoughts on this product. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I don't know if any of you noticed, but I actually had one eyebrow done this whole time. <laughs> I'm just going to speed through filling that one in. And I'm not really emphasizing on the brow technique. I'm actually emphasizing on concealing underneath your eyebrow. Even if you're not going to do like the whole contour and highlight thing, I think it's still really important to just clean up your brow and at least put some concealer underneath your eyes. Um, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Concealer, I believe. If I'm saying it wrong, it'll definitely be down below. With that same concealer, I'm also going to place it underneath my eyes just to kind of wake things up a little bit. You know how that goes. Whatever concealer is left over on the back of my hand, I'm just going to take that sponge and just put it, you know, in the other areas I like to highlight as far as my nose, my uh, cupid's bow, and my chin. 
Now I'll be going into the cream color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to use that to pretty much highlight my face. Um, I'm going to kind of put it everywhere I put that matte concealer and yeah it's going to just you know highlight and bring things out a little bit more. After applying it, I'm going to go in with a sponge just to make sure everything is blended together nicely. And I'm going to immediately set my under eye area because I'm not a huge fan of creasing and I honestly don't think anyone else is. <laughs> so I just recommend um, setting your concealer immediately. Now I'm going to start contouring and I'm first going to use this color cinnamon and I'm going to place that on my temples and other areas of my face that I want to bring in such as my jawline of course. Well not my jawline, that's called the... what is it called again? I forgot for a second. The hollow of your cheek, that's what it's called. <laughs> The hollow of my cheek, um, I also like to put it of course down the bridge of my nose. I like to put it in that little place on top of my lip, um, is it called the cupid's bow? You know that spot because it just makes your, your mouth look so much more pouty. I also go underneath my chin to make my bottom lip look a little more bigger. We're, we're transforming honey, okay? We are transforming this face, okay? So yes, I did call someone the B word but the sound is mute so you, you can't hear. So technically, I didn't call someone the B-word. <laughs> and yeah, I'm pretty much working from light to dark colors. And you'll see that by the time, you know, things go on. So, so far, this is my face, honey, face. Now I'm going to just go back in and just begin to blend things out. I personally like to blend my nose with my finger because, yeah, I just feel like I get more control when I use my finger for like my nose. But my other areas, I'm going to just use a brush. After blending everything out, I'm going to go with Nude, which is pretty much my skin color. And I'm going to just kind of clean up a little bit because, yeah, when I blended everything out, um, you know, everything, you know, it kind of spread a little bit. But thank goodness for, like, the color selection in this contour palette because, you know, it's okay if you mess up a little bit. You can just go and clean up. So this is what I consider cleaning up gonna clean up like I just did underneath my contour almost like a reverse contour but you know not really and my forehead and just around my eyes just to clean up a little bit now it's time for the real deal contour see that first color cinnamon is kind of more like a bronzer but this chocolate color definitely is a contour color and I'm gonna use this so lightly because yeah, this palette is very pigmented. I'm in love. Just hands down, I'm in love. 100% um, all the time, no doubt about it. Whenever I want to contour and highlight, I'm going to reach for this palette. And, you know, I'm just going to blend everything out once I place it. I'm using the side of my brush to kind of diffuse that dark chocolate color because I learned my lesson by using the brush flat with that cinnamon color because when I use the brush flat I'm just going to blend everything everywhere and I don't want to go back and clean up again so I'm just going to use the side of the brush just to you know diffuse that chocolate color so it blends into that cinnamon color 
and oh my gosh do you see that I mean it's it's the bomb it's coming together this this is coming together I'm getting excited just watching it okay so yeah <laughs> Now I'm just sweeping off whatever's left of that face powder, which isn't much, but hey, it set my under eye area, so thank you Jesus. Now I'm going to use some blush. This is an e.l.f. blush quad, and I actually really like this blush. Um, I'm just going to apply it with this brush, blush and brush, oh my gosh, they're so close together. I'm going to apply my blush with this brush and lately I've been loving to uh, bring my blush kind of into my hairline a little bit. Not all the way but just almost there and once I'm done just applying it I'm going to then blend it out because yeah I was going to blend that out. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> and it just makes things look so flawless and seamless. See that's a no, that's a go. So we're going to go. Okay? Let's go. I just love when things come together because you just look so pretty full. Yes, pretty pretty. Now I'm going to set my contour with this powder. Um, this is my first time using it so fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. Um, and it's really pigmented. Yeah, I barely put a little in there. I barely like put the brush in there and it was crazy pigmented. I actually had the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit but honestly I was so turned off by it. I I returned it and got something else. I got like something else, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm not a fan of the contour kit, the powder one, but the cream is really nice. And I actually really like this color. This, uh, it's actually a foundation powder from, you know, L'Oreal and stuff, and it's like the second to darkest shade in Cocoa, and I like it. I think, I think it does the job. This is a highlighter. It's the Kim Kardashian highlighter. <clears throat> they just have one color. And I'm just going to use that to, you know, highlight. And I got this from um, CVS. So this is the completed look after I applied my lashes and a lippy. And I'm really, really, really loving this. If you want to know... Do I recommend this um, Anastasia Contour Kit? Yes, I do. Absolutely. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. And you know I love you boo. I'll see you later. Adios.